far in library, what we have done is we went into Drive and made our grade level folder, got it all cleaned up and organized. Then we went into that Drive to create a Google Doc about your favorite candies. Guys, you did so good with that. All the formatting that I saw, they all look beautiful. We're definitely getting really good at Google Docs. So now we are moving on to another Google app, Google Slides. Google Slides is more of a presentation app. So this one was more word processing, right? But this is gonna be more of a presentation app. So you wanna make sure that you have this app downloaded, okay? Now the difference here, normally, you know, we started from our Google Drive and we went in. Um, the difference here, just because I really wanna be able to see your progress and help you along the way, uh, I created a Google Drive assignment in Schoology. So that's actually where we'll be starting at first in Schoology. Um, and then you'll get kind of like a template to get started. It's gonna be very boring at first. It's just gonna be white with black text, um, but I'm gonna be showing you as we're going through it, how you'll be able to edit it and change your text and change the size and add in photos and change the theme to really make this presentation how you would like it to look, okay? This presentation is going to be all about you. So you will have a title slide. You will have a slide all about your family. You'll have a slide about your favorite foods, and then you'll have a slide about your favorite hobbies, okay? It's up to you if you want to add in photos as well. I think it'd be really cool if you have the time to do it, okay? All right, Let's take a look and get started at our Google Slides All About Me presentation. And don't hesitate to reach out if you need any help. I'm here to help you. We can always set up a time to meet if you need it. Okay? All right, let's go. The Google Slides app looks just like this right here. If you do not have that app on your iPad, you will need to download it first before we get started. So remember, head into self-service and type in Google Slides. And there you will see it right here. This is what it looks like. Now let's go ahead and make sure we're signed into Slides before we get started. Down here, choose Sign In. And it remembered me here, so I can just say Continue as Angela. That's all we need to do right now for Google Slides. So now we can head out and go to our Schoology assignment since we're signed in and all set up and ready to go. I am right in the library Schoology course, so I'm going to go into this week's folder and into today's folder. And then you will see a Google Slides All About Me assignment. So tap into that. Now, even though we are using Google Slides, I actually have it embedded into Schoology here. I'm in here as a sample student here. Um, so rather than going directly to the Google Slides app, we're just gonna work in it from Schoology. So what you're gonna do is click right here, My Document, and you should see here it pop up right here, the assignment. If for some reason you don't see it, you could always click right here, can't see your document, click here. It may ask you to sign into Google here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is open in app. Okay, there we go, so now, in this Google Slides, you're right here in Google Slides now. Um, I left it as basic as possible because I want you to have a lot of time to edit it here. So you can see I already put the title for you called All About Me and you're going to type your name right in that box right there, just double tap and then you can backspace out of here and put your name in there. Okay, on to slide two. Slide two, it says make a list of your family members here. Include a photo of your family, and that's optional if you wanna put a photo in. So you would type in this box, and again, you can um, double tap to be able to edit it. You can backspace out of all this uh, directions that I put in. 
and there's a lot of different tools here. I can add bullets as a list or I can add numbers as a list. Um, and that makes them look a lot nicer here. So if I were to put the family members in my family, look how each time I hit return, it makes that nice, just like when we did our favorite candies here. Okay, see how it makes that nice and neat? Rather than just making one long list, it fills the space here. Okay, favorite foods, same thing. Double tap, you can, you can um, take all of this out of here. And then you can make that bulleted list of whatever you want. Okay, now let's say I wanted my font to be a little bit larger. See this A with the lines up here, just like we saw in Google Docs, I could tap that and I could make my font larger so it's filling the space. I could change the color of the font too if I wanted to. Okay. Now, let's talk about adding a photo. So let's say I wanted to add a photo of pizza right here. Now, if I wanted to add a photo, I'm gonna head into the plus sign right here and go to image. And I can either uh, go into my camera roll right here from photos, or I can take a photo right now with my camera. So if I had pizza sitting right there at home or in my fridge, I could snap a picture of it. But I don't right now. So what I'm gonna do is head into Safari and I'm going to search for pizza and head into images here. I wanna make sure I'm doing an image search. And as soon as you found um, a picture that you wanted, I can tap on this picture and hold my finger down on it. And now I can say, add to photos. Okay, so now when I head back to Google Slides here, I can hit the plus sign again, go into image from my photos, and there it is, there's that pizza. So I can go ahead and grab the corners of it and pull it around how I want it, and now I have an image right there. And then your last slide is going to be my favorite hobbies. Make a list of your favorite hobbies here and include a photo. So exact same thing, double tap in to edit, take out those directions. Uh, make a list. If you want to pull in a photo, you can. That's up to you. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about editing because it's kind of boring right now, right? Another thing that you can do in Google Slides, we can go into the menu here, the three dots, and um, we can go to Change Theme. And look at this, there are all kinds of fun themes to choose from, different colors and things that you can choose from. And notice it'll change it. So let's say I want this one right here. If I tap that, look what it's gonna do. See that, how nice it looks? It actually changed it. It changed my font, the color and style of my font. You can see what these ones look like too. Now maybe I wanted to change the color of this font too. If you wanted to change the color here, you can um, select it here, select all of this. And I could head into a couple different places. I could go into the A here for formatting, or you can see there's also the A here as well for color. So if I wanted to change it to something else, I could here. Okay, so play around with that. Play around with the formatting. And notice, notice the difference, like see how that one looks really nice because I made the font larger, but this one here looks kind of tiny. And I forgot to take out that, I forgot to take out the, uh, I'm gonna hold down till I see that magnifying glass, those directions. There we go. And now if I wanna make that font bigger there, I can go into the A and bump up the size. Okay, slide that box how I want it. Be a little bit larger here. Okay, 
All right, so when you're all done, you should have a nice little presentation all about you, your family, your favorite foods, and your hobbies. Um, and then as soon as it's done, when you head back to Schoology here, I will actually be able to see your progress. It's gonna be updating as you're in it, um, as you head to my, my document there. And once it's all done, you have to make sure you hit this button here, Submit Assignment. So that tells me that you are done with your Google Doc and then I'll get to see, see your little presentation that you made all about you. All right. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.